We know, Greg, trade talks have increased as we get closer to the deadline. So how does it affect the player when their name is mentioned in trade rumors? Uh, listen, it, it can rattle your confidence, and especially the first time it happens. But, Kevin, it's, it's important to remember that it's all business, and guys just can't take it personally. Now the starting group for the visitors. Olenek is out there with Dylan Brooks. Dylan then there's Brooks. Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then there's Murray. And it's Barrett at the three spot. Here's Curry following the score by Dylan Brooks. James finds Embiid. Misses from short range. Brooks the pass to Barrett. Gilgis Alexander against Edwards. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And good work inside. SGA will make more room for himself on the perimeter when he can be effective down low. Curry passes to Durant. Back to Curry from outside the arc. And he's good on the three ball. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Murray. 12 points his last outing to the inside. It's Barrett on the wing. That one's rebounded by MB. And he's very confident from that range, but you can't make him off. James with it, picked up by Barrett. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He will gladly take those. And they can't be happy they fouled Murray there in the ag. Jamal is lights out at the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Jamal Murray. Two shots. Free throw good, Murray. And so he makes both from the line. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Curry against Murray. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Curry. Once Embiid has the ball in that spot, it's lights out. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on an all-time scoring list, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. Here's Curry after the made shot from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Outside, James. Pass to Edwards. Five on the clock. Good on the bucket. James has got his second basket of the game. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Now here's Brooks, who provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Off target from outside. Gone four of five from the field so far. Passes it to Embiid. Shoots from eight. The shot is good off the backboard. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Barrett. Olenek sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Doesn't go either for Gilgis Alexander. Gone five of six so far for the field to start out the game. Brooks against KD. Basket counts. Great recognition of the mismatch, abusing the smaller defender, poor guy. The pass to Barrett. Inside. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. How about the floor awareness by Gilgis Alexander? Solid at just spotting his open teammate. Curry finds James. Back to Curry. Floats it up for James. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Pass to Olenek. Now here's Murray, guarded by Kirk. Olenek sets a screen for Murray. Brooks outside. 
Connects from three-point range. Brooks has got five. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead, and he's in position before the pass is made. Now here's Durant. You saw him with 29 points last game. From past the arc, hangs home the trifecta. He's got five. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He had 27 points last game. And Olenek kicks to Barrett. Olenek, a screen on James. And Barrett gets it to go. And well, like a lot of young players, Barrett's working hard to become proficient from range. Curry passes to KD. Back to Curry. James, a screen on Murray. Curry, good. And you're asking for trouble when you give Curry this positioning. He's so efficient down there. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Barrett inside the three-point line. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. The dish to Curry. Pass to James. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for two. First one falls for Anthony Davis. He's checked in for Kevin Durant. That one misses. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was a coach, but his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. And when you look at Dylan Brooks, he's someone that doesn't mind playing the villain. Yeah, he definitely seems to embrace this villain role, Greg. And look, a guy like that that keeps getting under your skin, that can be a benefit for your team. Both good from the line that time. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Oh, here's Edwards. Turned in an outstanding game against San Antonio. Screen by James. Curry. Tries again. And Davis can't get it to go. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Olenek finds Gilgis Alexander. Olenek sets a screen for Murray. Over Edwards. Out to Barrett. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. That's seven points for R.J. Barrett. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. No stopping Embiid inside. He is a beast. Gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Murray dishes to Barrett. Murray against Curry. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Davis kicks to Curry. Let's a floater go. He gets that one. Curry's got his third basket of the night right there. He's coming to work ready to ball. Hitting three of his first four shots. Okay. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Olenek, a screen on Edwards. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Mark that is his fifth miss in seven shots. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Outside Edwards. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Edwards, that's good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Murray against Curry. Murray, the pass to Olenek. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And here's Barrett. 
eight points his last outing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Oh, here is Edwards. They lead by seven. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. Davis dishes to Curry. Screen by James. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. The reach of Embiid with his size and wingspan, he's a real threat on the offensive glass. And Richard with Joel Embiid, his combination of physical dominance and skill, it's almost unfair. Yeah, he's a 300-pound guy with the agility of a wing. That is not fun to guard. He can bully you or beat you with finesse. There's really no weakness in his game, Greg. On the wing, Wiggins. Over James. And that one's good. Wiggins. His decision-making is so solid. Wiggins runs the pick-and-roll with precision. Outside, James. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter of the game. Shot clock at six. Adebayo with a screen for Edwards. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Wiggins. That shot off. James with some nice D. Gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And here's Edwards from the arc. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Passes it to Powell. Great tee that time from Davis. Gone three or four on three-pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Nails the baby hook. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Murray kicks to Dort. Back to Murray. Down low. And Dort gets it to go. Very good inside. Dort's got great upper body strength. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Edwards. Here's Davis. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Outside, Dort. Powell with a screen on Edwards. Wiggins outside. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. They lead by 12. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. On three or four from long range in the game. They've got Autobio. Tyrese Halliburton is out there with Anthony Edwards. Then it's Tatum, and it's Davis in at the foursome. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. We've got Gilgis Alexander. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Powell. And it's Nemhard in at the point. Just five to shoot. To the middle. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. Great tee that time from Edwards. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Edwards is out there with Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Tatum. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Davis in at the four. Wiggins is out there with Powell. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Nemhard in at the one. Wiggins right side. 
Anthony Davis with the rebound. Wiggins has gotten just one of his four attempts from the four tonight. Otobio with the bucket. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And Wiggins throws it down. I've always said, when in doubt, just jump over them. And Wiggins is listening to me. Halliburton outside. Here's Adebayo. And it's Shea Gilgis-Alexander with the rebound. Gilgis-Alexander's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. And he said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like it. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. This is his first free throw of the game. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player. And this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I, I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. Back to Gildas Alexander. Edwards with the block. And the athleticism of Edwards helping on defense, capable of getting up to block shots. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. There's the screen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Kevin Durant. And Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Really left alone that time. Halliburton's got five points now this quarter. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. And as we check out this year's contenders for the dunk contest, we get a look at some of the showmen, the best showmen in the NBA. And with the names on that list, you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year. And you look at Edwards. Sitting at the top of the heap, looks like he'll be planning on an appearance at the dunk contest this year. Yeah, and I'm not surprised with his athleticism. This guy has got the goods, no doubt about it. The hops are incredible. And we'll just have to see what sort of creativity he can apply. So there you go, and as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. We've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. Left side, Durant. Knocks down the 10-footer. Durant's got seven points. And the handles from Durant are downright filthy, using him to cut up the defense there with ease. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Over Tatum. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Halliburton passes to KD. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Inside, Durant's scoring instincts take over, helping him find a path to that difficult shot. Wiggins outside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. From the top of the key, he buries it. Eight points for him. Gone seven of nine, and their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. Edwards finds Davis. The three from Tatum. Not going to go that time. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can not count on him to continue missing. Gilgis Alexander passes to Brissett. Riggins outside. And Davis sends it back. A big block from the big fella, Anthony Davis, putting every inch of that 7'8 wingspan to work there. 
and his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one, putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Gilgis Alexander passes to Wiggins. Here's Nemhard. Over Halliburton. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Edwards passes to Tatum. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game. Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. He's gone two for two at the line so far. No good on that one. We talk about Tatum's offense, and for good reason, but his play on the defensive end is really valuable for this team. Stephen Curry has checked in for Halliburton. So he comes up empty at the line. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Here's Murray. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. How about the strength of Murray finishing the shot off easily, even with the harm? James checked in for Jason Tatum. Free throw good, Murray. Here we are looking around the NBA, Greg. It feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year, and that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. Durant for three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. There's the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Brooks. Some solid defense there from KD. Gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. James sets the screen for KD. A three-pointer off the mark. 43% for the game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Davis sends it back. Popped up there for Edwards. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, he puts that one on his head. Edwards, such a force. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Edwards. And now let's take a look at the stats for Murray. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. Averaging 22 points per, seven rebounds, and five assists. And what a force he is on the glass. Just inhales rebounds. And he can go around his opponent, over his opponent, through his opponent. A true triple threat. Outside Durant. Pulls it from 20, and he hits the jump shot. KD's got 13 points. If you feed KD, this man is going to do this all night long. Gilgis Alexander passes to Olenek. He kicks to Barrett. Back to Olenek. Outside, Gilgis Alexander over Tatum. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Rebound by Olenek. Guys, if they're going to make a run, no time like the present. Yeah, and it's certainly we had to expect a better game than this. Been very ugly thus far. Outside, James. Davis with a screen on Barrett. From deep, James. Here's Davis. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Brooks. Shoots over KD. 
Brooks misses. Yeah, the defender in position there and with the height advantage, the fade away was really his only choice, but still a tough shot. James, the pass to Tatum, and slam dunk by Tatum. <laughs> Just a merciless, I don't even know what that word means, dunk by Tatum. Reminding the defense, like, yo, you cannot stop him. Murray kicks to Barrett. Now Murray. He's got five. And stolen by Tatum. And Curry with the clear path to the hoop. Brooks grabs the board. And a pretty cool 37% from the four in the second. Not what they're looking for. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Eight points for him. Shoots over James. And Davis sends it back. Curry against the winner. Back to Curry. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Curry's got nine. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Curry against Murray. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Barrett. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Brooks setting a pick for Barrett. Goes up on the high post and it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got 14 rebounds tonight going after. Very pretty alley lamp. Oh, can we get a load of that one? Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Marie finds Gilgis Alexander. Brooks outside. Three. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Gilgis Alexander. Gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. To the paint. Here's Edwards. Wiggins with the block. There's the length from Wiggins. Got the pot up and redirected the shot. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Murray scanning the floor. Over Curry. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first half. The pass to Durant. He dishes it to James. Katie against Brooks. James outside. Cranes the three-pointer. James has got 10 points in the game. And showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Steps back. Murray. Rebound by Joel and B. Barrett against James. Fires for three. MB. And MB is right there. He's got 10. I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down, well timed. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Delivering the blowout. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Yeah, this group, elite marksmen, or as they sometimes call it, lasers. And looking at the first half we just watched, wow, what a performance for the home team. Some That'll do it for our show today. And as we 
dive into the second half. We'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. They've got James. Durant is out there with Embiid. Then there's Anthony Edwards. And it's Curry in at the point. They are just killing them on the interior. Dylan Brooks out there with Olenek. Then there's Murray. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the shooting guard position. Down low, here's Brooks. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists in the game. Curry passes to James. Spins. Great move there. That spin was something. James has got 12 points in the game. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Richard, it's absolutely amazing what Durant can do on the floor on a consistent basis. He's got the height and the size to play inside, the skill to run the offense. He's just a freak out there. 38% from the field, a pretty weak showing for them. Two points, that one goes. Nine points in the game so far. <laughs> and let's be honest, Murray has never seen a shot he didn't like, especially these mid-range jumpers. James against Barrett. It's rebounded by Barrett. Oh, no excuse for a guy of his caliber. You've got to finish that slam. Gotta be a little embarrassed by that one. To the middle. Here's Olenek. That one, no good. Great D that time from Durant. Murray against Curry. He feeds it to Embiid. Outside, KD. Hits it from three-point ring. The range KD possesses makes him a constant threat outside. The defense has to be all over him. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Tips it. Gilgis Alexander on the follow. He'll be around the rim. Defense has always got to know his whereabouts. Curry, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. James looking it over. And it's good for two. Durant's got 20 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Such a wide open look. And listen, if you're seven foot and can shoot threes, there's a place for you in today's NBA. Olenek has that rare combination. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Curry. Curry's got four assists in the game. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And he can't bank that one in. It's stolen by Curry. Floats it up for James. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Here's Barrett. It's rebounded by Durant. Gone 6 and 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. James, a screen on Murray. With the floater, that's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. 5 for 7. Gilgis Alexander against Edwards. Olenek a screen on Edwards. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Olenek. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Murray. And it's off the back rim. No good. Gone seven of ten on their field goal attempts here in the third. With the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, last season, there were a record number of African-American head coaches in the NBA. 
Blazers coach Chauncey Billups said, it makes me proud of the NBA for being intentional about giving opportunities to African Americans or just minorities, period. I'm proud to be a part of it. Kevin? Great stuff, David. Thank you so much for your reporting there. Look, and he knows he has the green light. Embiid's kind of attitude in these moments just makes him even more lethal. Murray outside. Brooks setting the pick for Murray. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Outside Durant. Pass to Edwards. Good D by Gildas Alexander. Doing it well here in the third, about 50%. Pass to Barrett. Let's it go with a three. And a great assist by Gildas Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his seventh assist in the game. Curry passes to Durant. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Defensive. Nice pass here to set that basket up. First person. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. You look at Durant's game and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it. He's so polished in every area. His skills are so sharp. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Halliburton against Murray. Six to shoot over Halliburton, and good that time. olinix has got five points now this quarter. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. The shot by KD, no good. Gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Gilgis Alexander, good, nice job hey, down Gilgis low. Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 12. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. It's rebounded by Barrett. Gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. From deep. And Davis pulls it down. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Gilgis Alexander. Just absolutely dominant inside. You have to be all over Durant. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Anthony Davis. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The visitors with the ball. Murray outside. There it finds Murray. To the inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Five points in the game. And that's how you execute offensively. Murray with a great job of getting it to his teammate. Halliburton for three. Nailed from three-point land. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Gilgis Alexander passes to Barrett. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's on Kevin Durant. And what a basket by Barrett, looking unafraid to take on these difficult challenges down low. Davis has checked in for Kevin Durant. Greg, isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Murray against Halliburton. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. On 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. The three from Tatum. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. Gone into the three point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. 
fires the three. The shot, no good. 64% beautiful all-around play by this offense. And a wide-open look for Halliburton. Off target with his three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And uh, how is the way shaping up, guys? Well, let's uh, take a moment here and check it out. Now that the mid-season grind is well underway. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Halliburton. Adebayo with a screen on George. Inside, and Adebayo throws it down. Well, Devin Booker has really developed his pick and roll game, and let me tell you this, playing with CP3, that will help. Murray against Holiday. It's Dort on the wing. Over Booker. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second team foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. And so Powell nails both of them. Smart anchor, it passes Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one is on Holiday. I like when Dort takes initiative because he's capable of compromising defenders on the drive. It's his first trip to the line. And so far this season, shooting at a 75% clip from the line. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Who needs the NBA draft? I mean, Dort worked his way onto the team, into the rotation, and then turns into a key contributor. Davis setting the pick for Booker. From outside, off the mark on two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Murray against Holiday. Shot from 12. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Being a hot 57% from the field in the third. Adebayo kicks to Holiday. Pulls up on the wing. A nice shot by Booker. Just what he does. Booker getting buckets. Door to screen on Holiday. Here's Murray. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Davis setting the pick for Tatum. Shot clock at five. Kicks to Davis. That one doesn't drop. Murray with it. Now guarded by Booker. Outside, Dort. Guarded by Tatum. Off with the layup. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Third team foul. At the line for your home team. Free throw, good Booker. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Davis with a screen on Dort. No good from Booker. Murray outside. Over Tatum. Murray, no good. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Delivering the blowout. We're going to step aside for just a second. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. We've got Davis. Booker out there with Holiday. Then it's Bam Adebayo. 
and it's Tatum in at the small forward spot. Adebayo with a screen for Tatum, buries it from three-point range. Every time Tatum finds his shot, he'll take it. He loves to fill it up from mid-range. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over Booker. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. Outside, Holiday. Hands it from downtown. There are six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Nemhard, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Powell kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. And they wasted no time hey, getting Gilgis those three points there. back. Gilgis Alexander's got 11 points here in just the second half. Adebayo with a screen for Holiday. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Count that Jay bucket. Gilgis Alexander's got 21. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Davis with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. To the middle. Ball is turned over. On Friday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors. And guys, one thing about road trips like this one, they'll be seeing this as a chance for the team to come together. It might be a bit of a silver lining for a trip that doesn't always provide a lot of success. Brissett has checked in for Dwight Powell. Whoa, look out! Goodness. Look out! Wow, okay, I see you. And he goes in for the dunk. In that tight, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Outside Holiday. Loads it up for Adebayo. A, a shifty player who really thrives on making the right play. Holiday sure runs a smooth pick and roll. Here's Nemhard. On the wing, Wiggins. Lots of room. A putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Tatum passes to off. Oh, Have mercy. Wow. Oh, that's not fair. Adebayo using his athleticism to give this crowd something to remember. Passes it to Brissette. Over Davis. Brissette, no good. Gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And the basket is good. Whatever adjustments were made in half, boy, they are working. He's looking like a different player since the break. Gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Booker outside. Adebayo with a screen for Booker. Fires from the line. That shot off. Gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Down low. Let's go. Easy jumper from very short distance. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. And the NBA's new CBA cracking down on the top spending teams, Greg, but also the bottom spending teams. Yeah, before, teams had until the trade deadline to hit the minimum salary floor. Now they've got to be there day one. Or they lose out on luxury tax distributions, which could end up in the millions. Here's Holiday. The teardrop falls in. Holiday's got five points now this quarter. Oh, nifty make there from Holiday. There's such a nice pace to his game. The floater fits him well. 
Gilgis Alexander with it. Now guarded by Tatum. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That is his first foul of the game. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Booker. Home team on D. Now, here's Barrett. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. And terrific to see Adebayo putting up big numbers. He's continuing to grow as a scorer. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Four on the clock. Launches a three. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Here's Tatum. Good as the jump shot falls. Despite his relatively quiet night, they are still winning, and that just shows this team is more than just about one guy. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Banked in off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 25 points. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. The shot by Holiday, no good. Gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins surveying the floor. And there's the pass to Gilgis Alexander. We have a step back. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Knocks down the three ball. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Pass to Wiggins. It's Barrett on the wing. And Davis pulls it down. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Goes up from the top of the key. Second shot opportunity. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Tatum dishes to Holiday. Outside Leonard. Adebayo with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And it's Leonard missing. Being reasonably well, 45%. To the paint. It's stolen by Adebayo. And here's the fast break. Davis leading the way. And Holiday with the basket on the assist by Davis. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Gilgis Alexander. Excellent D there from Holiday. On three and five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Trains it from beyond the arc. Holiday's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And certainly they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Back to Barrett. And he lays it straight in. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Adebayo with a screen on Wiggins. Here's Leonard. The 19-footer is on the money. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. And Tatum out top the key. Right side Holiday. The three kept alive. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. That's foul number two for him. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Halliburton's checked in for Drew Holiday. On defense, the visitors. Tatum on the wing. Davis setting the pick for Tatum. Just three to shoot. Davis with the bucket. Uh, look, I can't think of a better partner to have a pick and roll with than Davis. Sets hard screens and has soft hands to match. Remaining the game. Two minutes. Murray, the pass to Barrett. 
Murray with it. There's a screen over Halliburton. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Gone four and seven with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. And it's Halliburton penetrating. That one falls coming off Adebayo's feet. Adebayo's got his third assist on the night. Murray, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Played in with a nice touch Kay off the glass. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 27 points. With great positional size, Gilgis Alexander can finish over defenders. Pass to Leonard. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Hits the jump hook. 12 points for Davis. Inside, Davis has the upper hand. His height makes getting to his shot that much easier. Murray against Halliburton. And Adebayo sends it back. Outside Tatum. Now the pass to Leonard. Back to Tatum. Davis with a screen on Barrett. That one drops for him. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Got it. Good job hey, in the low post. Alexander. Oh, silky smooth shot there by Gilgis Alexander. He knew the floater was the right move to beat the defense. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Tatum. Driving in, and he makes that one. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. And so they get the victory here at home. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciate Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. So long.